Hey! What's up? We're gonna talk about Kingdom Hearts! Ooh! Ooh! Ah! <laughs> oh, fuck. So the Kingdom Hearts trailer just came out recently, the, the KH4 one. It was pretty cool, I guess. Oh, fuck. <sighs> Kingdom Hearts is a waste of yours and everyone's time. is it about Kingdom Hearts? It just drives me completely nuts. I feel like I've been sunk my entire life into Kingdom Hearts and I don't really know why and it bugs the absolute crap out of me. Wait, I know why! It's because it's a fucking nightmare. Welcome to Random Box, the show with bad opinions and even worse production values. Today's topic, Kingdom Hearts, and how it ruined my life. So that, that trailer just dropped and um, it's, uh, it's, 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 it's okay. I mean, it's not anything. Appreciate that Sora now has normal footwear. You know, honestly, I think it looks great. It, re it really does. It looks really good. I mean, granted, that trailer is probably just all lies. Like, there's no actual gameplay in it. Look back at the trailer for a second. You can see it. Y you can see, like, the UI pop up on it, but it's clearly playing over a pre animated cutscene. I always really like it when fake trailers do that. It's always fun. It's like the next step right below a uh, fake multiplayer chat in, like, Ubisoft conferences. But, you know, promising. There's a, there's a dark side. There's a Sora that looks like a human. That's cool. It's in modern Tokyo, so it'll probably be a lot easier to make, theoretically. Does that mean Sora's gonna be able to murder people on the street now? I hope so. Imagine, <laughs> imagine Sora just goes to GTA World and he just starts jacking cars and blowing prostitutes. Wait, is he blowing the prostitutes? What? Wait, is he the prostitute? Is that the, like, the costume change for the world? How does that work? <laughs> You know, I'm convinced at this point that whoever's writing these games is just like slowly turning Sora into Noctis. Like one of these games, Noctis is just gonna show up and just become the protagonist. I mean, they kind of did that in Kingdom Hearts 3, didn't they? No, I'm actually okay with Noctis being the protagonist. That dude needs a win. He gets like shit on like the entirety of Final Fantasy 15. I think it's telling where Noctis is somehow a better character in every other spin-off he's in other than his real game. That's cool and depressing. Like there's Sora and there's like Heartless and more hooded figures that that's cool. Um, and some weird girl that I don't know who that is. I think she's from the mobile game? I'm not playing the mobile game. At this point, I'm, I'm just, I'm just so done with Kingdom Hearts. So I love Kingdom Hearts 1. Kingdom Hearts 1's great. Kingdom Hearts 2, fantastic. Chain of Memories. It's okay. I mean, the, 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 the Game Boy Advance one was like fine. But like that re-release was fucking terrible. Like, it's just bad Kingdom Hearts 1 comic. They just took the Final Mix engine and just re-fluffed it. It's just awful. I became kind of disillusioned with Kingdom Hearts 3 because that's the one where things got, like, weird. There's those people who jumped from, like, they played 1, they played 2, and you can kind of just jump to 2 and that works okay. And then there's people who waited, what, the 13 years or whatever the hell it was, and they jumped right to Kingdom Hearts 3 and they went, I don't know what the fuck is going on. And me, a person who has played all of the spin-offs, played Kingdom Hearts 3 and went, what the fuck is going on? I don't know anymore. But it's with the drop of the Kingdom Hearts 4 trailer that I realized the big, like, stump point of Kingdom Hearts 3, it made the rest of the games fucking pointless. There's no point to the games at all anymore. Everything we see about Kingdom Hearts 3 just proves that if you weren't paying attention to anything else that was going on, none of it matters. And by the end of the game, Xehanort is effectively the protagonist of the series. How am I supposed to get invested in these games when a single spin-off, like, mobile game, like, comes out and all of a sudden it redefines the entire story structure in a way where I completely lose track of everything else I've learned. I swear to God, there's gonna be like a, a, a scratch-off ticket that Tetsuya Nomura makes that is gonna have plot significance. I'm not putting it past them at this point, man. They've put it out on fucking everything else. What's something they haven't made Kingdom Hearts on yet? Like, fridges? I guess they haven't put it on a fridge. All of the other spin-offs consecutively begin to show how less and less important Sora is to the rest of the story. And it hits a point where all of these characters that we've spent hundreds of hours and entire games focusing on, they don't do anything anymore. They exist to be side characters in their own plot. And the worst one of all is Sora, a character who already plays second fiddle to Riku by the time you get to Dream Drop Distance. By the time you get to Kingdom Hearts 3, it doesn't even matter at all. But the jump to a new setting shows that the more we go over Kingdom Hearts 
floor, the more they can just do whatever the fuck they want with it, and nothing will ever change. Or rather, everything will change constantly, and you're just gonna struggle to keep your head wrapped around it. Kingdom Hearts is a series that has games on every single goddamn system. It's no wonder that people are unable to actually keep up with any of this crap. So like, the, the girl shows up in the Kingdom Hearts 4 trailer, and I'm like, is she supposed to be important? I don't know. Because another game decided she was, and now she is, and I, I'm very confused. You know, now I think I know how people feel when they jump straight from 2 to 3. This, this is baffling. It doesn't help that Sora has effectively become a parody of himself at this point. I always felt it was weird that by the time you reach Kingdom Hearts 2, Sora is very, uh, goofy. No pun intended. It's, it's very laid back. It just kind of doesn't really give a crap unless plot's happening. And so his inference into the Disney worlds is just, Woo, guys, let's go have fun. Woo, let's gonna go casually fuck with the space time continuum. And so every time that Sora actually does have a profound effect on the people around him, or you get like that bit from KH3 where what he's talking about how Xehanort's the numb nuts. My guess is no one's ever loved you before. It's great, because Sora actually gets a chance to do something other than be a jerk-ass version of himself. Kind of like Homer Simpson, when I think about it. But like, Sora's still going, but Sora doesn't matter. He's just like a random kid. The reveal in uh, Birth by Sleep showed that Sora wasn't even the chosen one in the first place, which is another retcon. So they could just later just come out and say, hey, oh, hey, by the way, Sora's not even a person, or Riku was not a person, or, uh, 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 Diz was being manipulated the whole time, or the Master of Masters has just been running a giant simulation of what would happen if he gave his apprentices books and was a dick, which is kind of what I expect is gonna happen. Oh, God. The removal of the Final Fantasy aspects from Kingdom Hearts 3 is just the nail in the coffin with this kind of thing. I just- I, I feel like the people who write Kingdom Hearts don't understand why people like Kingdom Hearts. I can't speak to everybody, but my original impression of the first game was just like, hey, look how wacky it is that we can get a bunch of Final Fantasy dudes in a game with real Disney villains. And both of those things have been removed over time in favor of the original plot. But the people writing the original plot just keep throwing new crap in the game. And all of a sudden, nothing matters anymore because all the stuff you like has been slowly weeded out. And all the new stuff is just becoming increasingly convoluted and overdeveloped. They can't stop to explain things, they just need to keep introducing new things constantly. So we reach a point at which nothing matters anymore, because at any point they could just drop new lore and make it all pointless and a waste of time. As fun as it is to see cameos and people from games that I actually really like, I can't trust it anymore. Frickin' Neku shows up from The World Ends With You in 3D, and I don't know what that means anymore. Does that mean we could get another one? I mean, we're probably gonna get, like, Star Wars characters and Marvel characters in Kingdom Hearts 4, and that'll be fun, I guess. But what? What's the point? But ultimately, the Kingdom Hearts 4 trailer just shows that it sets a terrible precedent for the rest of the series. That at any point, they can just completely cut exactly where they are and just start something new. And now we have a new bunch of new stuff to look at. And, uh, but there's still plenty of old stuff from the other games and the mobile game, which is still going. God, it's still going. Someone please fucking stop. Stop. Please stop. I know for a fact, despite all of this, I will still play Kingdom Hearts 4. It'll still be fun. I'll still enjoy it for what it is. It's probably gonna be riddled with more OC crap. That's fine. It'll look nice. Probably play okay, assuming they get people who know how to make video games on it. Ah, fuck. You know, it always weirded me out that all the Kingdom Hearts games always seem to have completely different gameplay. I, I don't know, this is kind of hard to really explain. It's like, Kingdom Hearts 1 is more of a platformer, Kingdom Hearts 2 is an action game. Birth by Sleep is very stripped down and is much more, like, command and, and like, shot lock focused. But it doesn't play exactly the same as Kingdom Hearts 2. And then you get to, like, 3D and there's flow motion and the entire arenas are just, like, gigantic empty spaces. And the mobile games and all of them. Functionally speaking, every single one of these Kingdom Hearts games is a different goddamn type of game. I feel like I'm going crazy thinking about that. It's like the gradual change over time has created nuanced differences that make every game distinct. Like, Kingdom Hearts 2 does not play like Kingdom Hearts 3. It plays very differently, and that's mostly because of just, like, the, the glitz and polish and the general movement ability. It's not the same, but yes, I will play Kingdom Hearts 4 when it comes out in, like, eight years. I'm sure Square Enix will be able to make Kingdom Hearts 4, um... 
you know, eventually, assuming they're not too busy wasting all their money on all their side projects while FF14 single-handedly sustains the entire company. I'm just kidding, I don't actually trust Square Enix like at all. If Square Enix said that they were going to shit in a bag, they would need 50 employees, 4 years, 100 million dollars, and they would give you uh, a pile of shit. And then sell you the bag later as paid DLC. In short, uh, yeah, Kingdom Hearts 4, look forward to it. It's gonna be fun. Um, and that's all I have to say about that. Yeah.